everyone, it's Clarice and today I'm going to be reviewing Fluke by Christopher Moore. This book basically follows a group of marine behavioral biologists who study whales or more specifically study the whale's song and why exactly they are singing this song. The book starts with a group of these biologists being out on the field studying whales, taking pictures, recording things, when suddenly one of them, a biologist named Nate Quinn, sees something unusual. He sees strange markings on the fluke or otherwise the flat area on the tail of this one whale. As crazy as it sounds, he was pretty sure that what he saw on the tail of that whale were the words in bold letters, bite me. And the story just goes on from there. Actually, that is just scratching the surface of what the story is actually about, but I think it's better for you not to really know what it's about going into it. Christopher Moore mainly writes fiction that would be classified as humor, and I'm pretty sure you would classify this book as humor as well. And even though based on the cover, it looks kind of like a children's book, all of his books look like children's books, they actually aren't. This is kind of a weird book, and at times, that weirdness gets kind of gross. So if you're not into kind of weird graphic things, I don't think you should read this book. There weren't a ton of those scenes, but there were definitely moments when I just had to stop and think, what the hell did I just read? It gets really weird at points, which I expected from Christopher Moore. There were also definitely a lot of moments here that I found really funny, which is basically most of the moments that I marked here with sticky notes. The scientific term for this noise is ribbits because that's what they sounded like. Science can be simple. Some of the other things I marked here are funnier in context, I think. But even though this book was really weird and really funny, for most of the book, I didn't actually find myself that interested in it or excited to read it. Don't get me wrong, I definitely liked reading this book and I was definitely somewhat curious, but I never found myself being pulled in by the story until about two-thirds of the way through. So for most of this book, I wasn't really fully into it for whatever reason. It just didn't pull me as much as I would have wanted it to. I think it had partially to do with the plot and partially to do with the characters. The plot because it didn't really make sense most of the time and even though by the end of it they pulled things together and somewhat made it make sense. When things don't make sense at the start you're curious but at one point when things still don't make sense you just don't feel as motivated to keep reading. And also while I did kind of like the characters I never felt myself really getting attached to them or caring that much about them. That being said I did get really into this book again after getting about two-thirds of the way through because at that point this book took an unexpected turn. It started to delve kind of into science fiction and in my opinion those parts were the best parts. They were so interesting and so weird but the good kind of weird. It delved into things like evolution and sentience and at that point it just got me so interested and so curious and so engrossed by this new world and new science as weird as it was. The science fiction in here is weird but really cool and at points really made me think, which I always appreciate from a book. Generally, by the end of this book, though I did love it at one point there, as imaginative and interesting and thought-provoking as that section was, the rest of it was just way too lackluster for me. I was just too indifferent about the story for too long a period of time for me to be able to say that I loved this book. As a whole, I simply couldn't say that I would necessarily recommend this, but if you are already a fan of Christopher Moore's humor or you just like witty humor in general, and if you enjoy sci-fi and really, really, really weird stories, you might actually find yourself enjoying this book. I definitely did, just not as much as I would have liked to. Anyway, that was my review of Fluke. If you're planning to read this or have already read this, I would love to hear your thoughts about it. Anyway, please like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye!